welcome back, booze heads. We're quarantined again, and uh, here's another episode for all you uh, crazy motherfuckers. Uh, I'm Beautiful Brad. And hey, this is Chester. And welcome back to another fucking drunk-filled fucking pod of Guy Party. So, Chester, yeah. how how have things been going? No, it's, it's going good. I'm working from home, and, you know, whatever. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> do, do they have any timetable set to where... Um, you're going to be going back to work or anything? No, no. I, I mean, I don't know. In one hand, I kind of hope that it's soon just because the equipment doesn't work quite as well as it does in the office. And Yeah. When I, it's like my bedroom is also the place that I work, so it kind of takes some of the magic of the bedroom away. <laughs> so, like, <laughs> when you're wanting to fucking have sex, all you can think about is work. Yeah, I'm just like... I'm banging, and I just look over, and I see my fucking computer desk, and the monitors, and, uh, <laughs> You left your email up, and <laughs> you see you got, like, three fucking missed emails. <laughs> maybe I should, like, like try, like, banging and, like, keep my headset on just to see how it feels. Like, maybe do a little role play. Hell yeah. Or just start banging in the oh, kid's wait. bedroom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, girl, with your late feet. Yeah. <laughs> I think um, our HR said uh, uh, the 15th, so I guess I got one more week of uh, remote work, and I guess they're going to start dragging us back in. Yeah. It, it, it'd be nice to, I mean, I'll be happy to get back in the office. And, but I don't know, I'm missing things about working from home, like, I get basically an extra hour a day because I don't have to, you know, drive. Exactly. So that's nice. Yeah, I, I get about two hours of commute because driving into downtown Cincinnati, man, and driving home from downtown Cincinnati is a clusterfuck. Right, so, right. Yeah. I mean, it's pretty good to be playing on your phone, like, and, you know, while I'm doing my work, too, and making yeah. calls, you know. Exactly. Yeah. I've been editing Guy yeah. Party podcasts and shit while I've been, uh, you know, doing work, air quotes. Yeah. <laughs> Watch. You know, watching porn while I take calls, that's, that's going to be something that I'll miss. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I guess I could still do it. I just, at work, I just have to keep, you know, like my phone, like, under my desk really well, and then, like, keep the volume down. Have you? Everybody's walking by, and they just see, like, you know, like, cum, titties, all that. I feel like we might have hit on this before, but mm-hmm. if so, um whatever i but have you ever got like from something maybe somebody sent you or like a facebook message or anything to where you you saw some a nice rack or a vagina to where you got like this raging hard on to where you wanted to rub it off at work at work no no i've i've, I've known um dudes who have done that before but <laughs> If you want to kind of work from home, then yeah. <laughs> but but, but you, yeah. you've known dudes that have done that. Like how how did like people you work with? How and how did they bring that up to you? Like I've had friends that have uh, we, we've discussed it before. Like I, I won't I won't say who on the pod, but I'll, I'll tell you later. But right on. Um, if I recall it, the, the way that he described it, like. He made it seem like I was the weird one for never taking a jerk off break. <laughs> I'm like, all right. And I'm like, so what do you do? Just go into the bathroom stall? And he's like, yeah. And I'm like, well, that's fucking weird, man. I don't know. Like, <laughs> when I was working at Miller, like I, I would get drunk on the job a lot, so I my inhibitions lowered quite a bit, and. I masturbated at work several times there, but, you know. <laughs> I just can't even imagine getting in that, like, and, and maybe it's because, like, the bathroom where I work is fucking disgusting. Like, they, I, I don't even think they have air freshener going on in there or anything like that. So it's, it just constantly smells like shit. And there's almost always a dude next to you. Yeah. It's fucking blowing ass. And I just can't, I don't even think I could get a hard on. Well, keep a hard on. Well, I'm fucking cum. <laughs> So, so basically, the bathroom at work kills your mood. Like, you get in there and you're like, well, fuck this. My, my shit went limp. But say, yeah. like, you open that. Well, I, I guess it kind of goes to working from home. I guess I'm, I'm just kind of desensitized to being in public because I've been working at home for, like, two months now. But, like, say you could get away with, like, have you ever, like, rubbed yourself through your pants to completion? Like, if so. Uh-huh. <laughs> 
<laughs> would you do that at work? Like, has there ever been anything to stir you up? No, no, I can't do that. About that. So that's pretty fucking funny. I mean, are you bringing it up because you have? Well, uh, I, I did it, Mill. Or re- I mean, there's been a few times where I work at now to where, like, if I could complete by rubbing myself through my pants, I would have, but... I mean, I can get there and it feels all good, but I'm kind of in the same boat as you. By the time I get to the restroom, it just, it smells like, you know, you got that air freshener, but it's just air freshened uh-huh. covered feces, you know, it's just like a hint of freshness, but it's poop. So yeah, it's just kind of like, yep, yeah, yeah, there it went. <laughs> I remember when I was in, uh, when I was in Vegas and I got this like private dance from a stripper. And she offered to jerk me off for a hundred dollars, which I, I I told her that was too much. <laughs> and, but, but like after she got them with the private dance, like we were walking away, and she pointed at the men's room, like like there you go, jerk off in there, buddy. <laughs> and I was like, no, no, thank you. <laughs> you waited until you got back to the hotel. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> How many loads do you think you blew in Las Vegas, though, in in that hotel room? <laughs> All in all, probably about two or three. Uh, two or was, three? How many days were you there? Four. All that rubbing and titties and and there was only four loads. And you even watched Happy Feet. I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the problem was that that whole fucking trip from damn near start to finish was a boost blur. Like, I, as soon as I got into the hotel, the first thing I did was go and to the store that right, you know, that was like a Walgreens that was right next to the hotel. I got some, we got a bunch of booze. Uh, like I had a bottle of whiskey, a fucking case of beers, a bottle of champagne, <laughs> and it was just me. Which I guess that set off the fucking red flag for the drug dealer who offered me this only uh, ecstasy. <laughs> <laughs> this <laughs> dude's looking to party. Ready to party. <laughs> but, um, but no, I mean, I, I just, I, I, I drank myself deep at that whole trip to the point where, yeah, I didn't. I didn't stay up and jerk off. I was coming in at like three or four o'clock in the morning and just passing the fuck out and waking up hungover as shit. And then I would, I, I wouldn't feel better until like five or six o'clock, and that's when I would start my day and then just do the whole cycle again. Oh, yeah. and, and that even, yeah, that even went to the very last night I was there, and that's when I lost my phone. And I didn't even sleep that night because I lost my phone. By the time I got back to the hotel, because I was lucky enough to find a cab that was just sitting there, and so you know, because otherwise I, I couldn't call, and I couldn't get an Uber because I, I didn't have my phone. I, I, luckily, I had a cab and I had cash, and so uh, I got back to the hotel at like four o'clock in the morning, and my flight was at six. So yeah, I boosted up all the way to the fucking very <laughs> end. <laughs> did Did you find your uh, phone? Nah, no, nah, that thing never turned up. I, the bummer of that one is that I lost a shitload of pictures. Like, because um, I, 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 I didn't have my pictures like going up to a cloud of any kind, and, and so I, I, I lost probably a good year, year and a half of pictures or so. Oh damn! And, and, cause I, it had been a long ass time since I uploaded all my pictures on the laptop or anything. So there's a lot of memories that are only in my fucking head. Oh, <laughs> I'm sure the booze heads would love to have seen some pictures from that Vegas trip. And, and if you guys haven't heard it already, we, we kind of recap on his Vegas trip on Guy Party Adventures, Vegas edition. Mm, so we do. Be that's sure to check that one early, out. <laughs> that's, an early epi- that's an early episode, too. Do what? That was an early episode, too, because that was uh, two years ago. Yeah, yeah, that was one that of... was more than two years ago. It was like two and a half years ago that I did the Vegas trip, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, that was, that was one of our, our first uh, few episodes we ever did. But yeah, I've never jerked off at work. I've jerked off in public, but not at work. <laughs> yeah, I haven't done so recently. I think maybe that's what I'll do as soon as I get back. Like that first week back, I'm like, fuck it, you know, I'm just going to jerk off. I wonder if like a lot of other dudes are going to have that same mindset. Like they've been just jerking off at home and shit and they just right. get back to work. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, it's been a pretty regular part of my work day since I've switched to work from home. Yeah, so, so. you, you kind of trained your brain, like, while you're doing this task, you're masturbating. So when you're, like, there sitting right. in your cubicle, you just gently pull it out. But you, 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 it, like, registers and there's, like, seven people sitting around <laughs> you. And you're like, oh, boy. <laughs> I did it again. <laughs> 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 like so many days are doing it that they just can't even they can't even fire people for it because they just they wouldn't have a workforce. 
<laughs> yeah, I'm gonna take that shit to court, man. That's a Corona fucking um. Uh, yeah, yeah, Corona So do you like look at pictures to get it built up for the end of the day? Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. And then it's like one of my last breaks. It's like, ah, it's your time. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever had a customer get you hard, like while you're on the phone with them? Nah. Nah, because, nah, I mean, I'm not the kind of person who, like, would. I, I, I mean, I guess some guys are, are like, you, you might find a girl's voice, like, super sexy, like a sultry kind of voice, but. The girl's voice is never really, like, the tone of her voice has never really turned me on. Maybe the words that she's saying, but the customers never, you know, told me that they want to sit in my big cock or anything like that. <laughs> yeah, I'd always <laughs> be like, quit yeah. fucking joking with me. I got no big fat cock. I got a little fucking, <laughs> you know. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, ma'am. I think you're lying. Yeah, quit lying to me, bitch. <laughs> Nah, yeah, I don't know. So sometimes, like, so we get calls from around the United States, and I'll sit there, and I'm like, oh, well, let's look her name up, Facebook. I'm like, oh, boy, she's a good-looking one. <laughs> oh, my God, did you do that? That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, be careful about creating Facebook accounts, ladies. Us guys are fucking pervs. Guy party! <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's pretty funny. Dude, most of my customers are old as fuck though, because the young ones that they know how to they just do shit online, and, and so it's, it's super rare that I get young people. It's almost all all old people, but like yeah, old but, um nineteen forties to sixties, or do you like any milfs, or uh, is it just all? Uh, like, I mean, I'm sure I'm sure I've, I've had some younger ones in that mixed in there too but yeah no, it's, it's a lot of like people in their 40s like, like they were, were born in like the 40s or 50s and so yeah like he, i'm talking like a lot of 60 70 year olds i get a, a pretty good amount of 80 year olds a few 90 year olds <laughs> hell yeah <laughs> so and a lot of asians a lot of asians well fuck a- asians because they don't have like internet service or I don't know, man. You know, I, I think it's because um, our business is, like, it, the, the credit card that I serve is, like, there, a lot of their customers are on the West Coast. Mm-hmm. And, you know, the West Coast is, is where you, you have a lot of Asians because that's, you know, where they're first going to come into the country. They're going to come into the country on the West Coast. Yeah. It's kind of like uh, what the uh, Europeans would hit... Um... New York, Ellis Island. Yeah, you got it. Yeah, yeah like Irish, Irish, Italian immigrants hitting the, the like Boston, New York, that kind of thing. What, Asians what? are coming to like Seattle, LA, Portland. That kind of With thing. today's um, climate and everything so PC, does that make us racist by saying where they would come in at? I think that's statistics. I know, I but can put, I, I think you can put fact to that. But can I, you? I mean, can you even use facts nowadays without being called like a racist or a bigot or anything? Oh, I mean, I'm. I, I think that you can have. This is going to sound stupid, but you, I think you can have racist thoughts without really being like a complete racist. Yeah. Like I've had thoughts where I'm like, mm-hmm. <laughs> like at work, like when I get somebody with like a, like a, a, a very clearly Asian name. And I just kind of like have that like that moment of dread. Yeah. And oh yeah. And I'm like, and then I'm like, oh, check yourself, man. Like this person, just because they have that name, doesn't mean that they're gonna be, you know, have. A, there's gonna be a language barrier here. And I told this. It's not like I hate the person. I mean, no. I, I don't. Hate, I, I dig Asians, and you know, I, I, they have every right to be in this country just as much as you and me. I mean, our fucking parents first generation barely spoke english i'm sure well yeah Um, yeah. i mean well it's it's like where i work uh we've we've got indian people and it's like i got no problem indian bitches are babes like i would fuck indian girls any day of the week but 
it's just that language barrier and sometimes it makes it hard to like you know if i'm resetting their password and they're not understanding like what a capital letter is but when i'm saying like all right this is capital this is lowercase and they can't understand me and i can't understand them and a password resets turns into like you know, two hours of your day when it should only be like 30 mm-hmm. seconds. It, it gets frustrating. It, it's it's nothing like exactly. racist about and, and it. Yeah, but I mean, it's still, it's, it's stereotyping, which is a form of racism. And, and it just, yeah. And it's, still, it's still not something I'm proud of. Like, But I, I do catch myself seeing like a name and just being like, ah, here we go. Mm-hmm. It, it, it's just not, it's not cool. You know, it's definitely not cool. Yeah, yeah. I mean, but I mean, hell, I've, I've said way more like stupid racist shit on this podcast than. Yeah, but but anybody listening to this podcast knows we're all just joking. We we're all like good loving dudes, oh, yeah. and we love everyone equally. But yeah, I oh, mean, right. I, I know when I have those um, you know customers that they, they get just as pissed off at me because of the language barriers. So they're they're like, oh, you, yeah. you stupid white motherfucker. It's not just me, you know. <laughs> Right. And I'm respectful. I'm sure you're respectful, too. It's just, you know, it's the language barrier. It's a pain in the ass. And, you know, it's funny. Like, I hear, um, we, we have, at my company, like, we have offshore agents, you know, and people who are in call centers in uh, the Philippines and, and in India. And if a customer requests to speak to an onshore agent, to like, to somebody in the states i mean those agents have to transfer calls to us and we'll get those kind of calls like this customer has requested an onshore agent and i'll tell you a lot of the time the customer that's requesting an onshore agent is somebody who has like a, a thick accent that is you know probably like a first generation immigrant really and yeah and, and you at first you would think like well you know, they should have some, you know, appreciation for these other people, but at the same time, yeah, I mean, even if it's somebody from, like, the same area, like, like two, like, people from India, they're, you're not, they're not speaking to each other in their native tongue, you know? They're talking to each other in English, so it's hard enough for them to understand English coming from, a you know, somebody who speaks it well, you know, like, speaks it, like, clearly, and when you're hearing English in a different accent, even though it's the same accent that you have, it could be kind of difficult. Yeah, I mean, they say English is the hardest language to learn just because, I mean, how many where's do we have? We got where, where, you know, like, there's so many definitions for one word. And yeah. Yeah, they, they say English is uh, a motherfucker to learn mm-hmm. just because of that fact alone. Like, yeah. you know, Spanish is just como, like... Como te amas? What's your name? Like, <laughs> but you're and fucking, I don't know where I'm going with this, but you know. <laughs> but I tell you know, like, I mean, we said that's who I'm talking to, and I'm sure I'm talking to some young, probably hot Asian chicks. But that's another thing too. Like, I don't really Asian girls are never one that like I've been like super into. Like, I'll have like moments where I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna look up some Asian porn today, but. Not often. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so me, me jerking off to the sound of one of my customers' voices is, is pretty unlikely. Well, I mean... But I never, hey, I never thought to fucking look him up on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, man, I just op- opened up a whole new world for you. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Masturbating is going to come on full force now. Because you, you might find yeah. that lucky one where her internet's out and she has to call you. And then you get in there and you see, like, you search the name of Facebook. Hell, it might not even be her. It just, you know, because, like, when I search them, there's several people with the same name. But you find one. They got some nice bathing suit outfits. And you keep talking yeah. with them. And you're like, oh, sorry. Uh, I keep getting disconnected. And get them to giggle a little bit. And then, you know, it's slowly getting fucking harder. <laughs> so were you suggested earlier that you could, like, if you could... Kind of do some sort of like move where you could just like maybe wiggle your leg back and forth and like use that to like gently massage your cock to the point of completion. You would do that and just kind of come in your pants. Yeah, I mean, like I, I work it and get it to almost completion, but I can't quite get it to where I complete in my pants. And then, so with, with, 
would you, after you came in your pants, would you immediately then go to the bathroom, or would you just kind of sit in your jizz? I'd just sit in it, because usually when I'm I'm hung over and I'm jerking off like four times, a, you know, like four or five, six times in, in a hangover session, I just lay in it. And then I notice, like, as the cum and the fucking ball sweat builds up, kind of smells like a vagina. So then it gets me even more hard, ready to jerk more and more. So it's a vicious cycle. Oh, God. <laughs> At the end of the day, doesn't it get like super fucking crusty? Mm, I mean, my my drawers do, but you know. And then the next morning, usually I'm up and in the shower, and I've enjoyed myself. And <laughs> I usually so chafed from jerking off so many times, I, I don't you know fuck myself for another you know twenty four to forty eight hours. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I've got all this like like hair and stuff on me. Like I got my chest and my stomach. So if I'm I'm jacking off and I just like let it get on me and it just it, it just fucking sits there. It's gonna like crust up, especially if I leave, if I let it go too long. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be like chewing gum in your hair, or <laughs> you have to kind of like use like peanut butter or scissors to cut it out. <laughs> Oh, yeah. It's like fucking bubble cum. <laughs> Don't they do like hair fundraisers where like, you know, shave your head for cancer and they donate all the hair? We just need to shave your entire body completely bald. Eyebrows and all. <laughs> See how much hair we can fucking donate. <laughs> and I like sorting through it and some of it is like fucking cum crusty and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> we can't take this, sir. <laughs> we can't take this as a ejaculate hair. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like clumps. <laughs> It's like that's not a mat, that's jizz. <laughs> <laughs> Makes me wonder, like, I will have to ask you gay this. Like, wait, when you you get it in the ass and like you come in, into a butthole and like the cum, like some of the cum kind of oozes out or whatever. Yeah. Like I have a hairy asshole. Like <laughs> I imagine a lot of dudes do. Like, is the cum just kind of like crusted up in, into that butt crack and like? <laughs> I, I mean. I, that's, I bet that shit is fucking hard to get out. Like, I, I, I bet it gets all crusty in the hairs, and, like, you're, pull, you're, you're trying to get it out, and you're pulling hairs out, and it fucking hurts. No wonder. <laughs> That's a good question. We need to get Cuddly back on and uh, have, have an interview with that guy. Just get, get some more in-depth fucking, uh, you know, what, what goes on into a gay gangbang. <laughs> right. Yeah, we definitely need to get him back on soon, so... Maybe once quarantine lifts, we can all get together. Yeah. Go on a meth bender with Cuddly. <laughs> <laughs> so, so well, maybe not that. Well, yeah. I wish there was, like, because, like, you know, we dig, like, the acid in the shrooms. He digs, like, the meth and, and, like, the coke and shit. And, like, I, just, I wish there was some sort of, like, a happy medium. Like, a drug that we both, like, just dug. Yeah. This is such a stere- stereotypical thing to say, but... Our drug dealer fucking said it. He said, the gays love the uppers. They love the party drugs. They love, like, the meth, the cocaine, the fucking... They just like to party and fuck each other. <laughs> That's stereotypical yeah. as fuck. I didn't say it. This actually came from a liberal drug dealer. But, um... Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. that makes sense to me. It makes total sense to I, me. I mean, we've seen it firsthand. <laughs> Motherfucker, you know, huffing fucking computer... <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what? I mean, if you think if you think about it, like you know how like you would fuck just a, I don't want to say about to anybody, but you know you would fuck like most girls that would be down to fuck. You know what I mean? Like at the end of the night, if, it, if a girl's down to fuck and she's reasonable looking, you're probably gonna fuck, right? Oh yeah, absolutely. But a lot of the times, the girls, you know, aren't. They, they, there's that whole like uh, thing with like slut shaming where. A girl can't be promiscuous, so she's got to, like, you know, make you kind of work for it. Or, or maybe she doesn't have a drive, the, the, the same willingness or whatever. But, like, when it's two gays, like, when it's two dudes, I mean, you know, it's just like both the parties have that rationale that I will just fuck whatever I can because I want to fuck. That makes sense to me why gays fuck so much, you know? And, like, they want to just party and fuck and fuck and fuck and fuck. Yeah. And, and why 
why AIDS was such a problem in the 80s, because it's like, yeah, I mean, this dude's just one fuck. I don't know. And, and that's, that's sexist as fuck, that's gay-sist as fuck. <laughs> but... <laughs> Because, <laughs> I mean, chicks want to fuck, but I, I really think there's just this this, uh, this societal thing that, like, they, they, they have to feel, like, ashamed if they, if they just want to have permission, they don't just want to be promiscuous, you know? Yeah, which... Like, they're not allowed to do it. Chicks need to quit feeling that way. Quit feeling like you're a slut. Just fuck. Fuck lots. Fuck me. You know, it's cool. I it's won't have. Up dudes that did that though. It, it's fucking the, the like the puritanical views, like the religious rights of the world that said that, that you know that women shouldn't be like that. But when dudes are like that, they fucking like they, they turn the other cheek. They you know they, they look the other way. Yeah, they they, they, they get high fives, dude. Because you know nothing better than a guy party. That's what I'm saying, man. That's what I'm saying. You imagine how much fucking would that be? Would be if women just let themselves be, uh, like, like take away the shame, like, like if we got rid of all that shame that society has built up over the years. Well, here's my thought, and I agree with our forefathers. Women are only good for three things: <laughs> <laughs> cooking, cleaning, and vagina. So, with that being <laughs> said. <laughs> Cook my dinner, clean my house, have your legs leg spread when I come home from partying with the dudes. <laughs> the guy party. <laughs> Are you talking about the guy party forefathers? Yeah. <laughs> um, so the dude's name. Uh, fucking... <laughs> what was his name? Ladora La- Jolie. Uh, he he played Taco oh, wow. on um fucking the league. He he wrote that song. It was it was a brilliant goddamn song. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh god, that's good. Shit. That's some good shit. If you ever, it's, that, that is old shit too by now. It, and it's just probably like 15 years old. But if you, if you haven't, look up MC Vagina. This shit is hilarious. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to record that and play it at the uh, the outro of the pod. But yeah, if you haven't heard mm-hmm. that song, you're you're gonna hear it if you you stay with us till the remainder of this. This podcast, it's a fucking, it's a great one. Unless they banned it from YouTube since the uh, Me Too movement and everything got PC as fuck, so who knows. <laughs> I don't know, man, but I just think, like, maybe that's why Gabe's just like the, like the party, like, if because it's just fuck, and it's, it's, it's not that, that fucking shame, you know, it's just because it, it's guys, and guys aren't born with that. We're, we're, yeah. we're, we're taught it's all right for us to be promiscuous and whore around. Yeah, and you know, and like... Get called, and, like Poor and slut, you know. Like, there's, I don't even know if there is a name for that for, for a guy. And dudes don't really like, you know, sit and cuddle. Well, I'm not gonna say all dudes. You know, cuddling's fine here or there. But like, if you're with a woman, she'd expect to cuddle a little bit. If you're with a dude, you know, it's just like fuck it. Let's just smash more beers and fucking do another line of meth. Let's fuck again. <laughs> right? <laughs> it's not like, talk like, about feelings. Like, like, it's, like, like, you don't even have to have feelings or emotions or anything. Like, it's like the end of the night at the gay bar, and there's just, like, two dudes left, and they look at each other and just go, like, hey, you want to fuck, right? Yeah, all right, let's go fuck. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Fucking A. <laughs> hey, buddy, I got a butthole with your name on it. <laughs> <laughs> me when I was uh, banging my retarded girlfriend and uh, I was fucking her in the ass and I ended up calling her Jeremy because all I could think about was my buddy Jeremy. (laughs) 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 She's just like, what happened? I'm like, shut up, let's keep going. kind of a dude about it, you know. <laughs> like, hey, Jeremy, let me come on your tits. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was pulling her hair and I'm like, yeah, Jeremy. Mm, mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. 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 Oh,
<laughs> we gotta get Jeremy to draw us a picture of like you thinking like a chick body with his head on the front. <laughs> yeah, that would <laughs> 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 Oh yeah, shit. By the way, um, our other buddy, we uh, he doesn't like his name mentioned, but uh, he is drawing us a new design, the new new guy party, and um, I'm gonna get some shirts made of it. It's pre- it's pretty badass. Hopefully, we're gonna we're gonna drop it soon. So the one we've been talking about, the one you've been showing me. Yeah, yeah, the one I've been uh, sending you. Oh, ta- okay. Yeah, he's almost done. I'm gonna get some shirts made and. Uh, if you guys want to support uh, the guy party movement, we'll sell them to you guys. Uh, you know, just to help pay for the uh, feed and shit. So uh, we'll, we'll be posting that shit soon. So hopefully you guys are interested in it. It's, it's a pretty cool design. Oh, it's looking awesome. Yeah, yeah, I can't wait. <laughs> I'm gonna get some stickers <laughs> made of and plaster it all over downtown. <laughs> 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 so um That's awesome. recently i i guess I, I you'd sent me the article but uh apparently there there's people saying uh donald trump was he's not a time traveling tranny after all he he was built in a laboratory but why can't he be both i mean i don't know how you feel about it but i am under the strong belief he is totally a time traveling tranny he was not built in a lab. He came from a multi-dimension, probably Dimension X with Krang. But yeah, he he is a time traveler. So I I do feel like he's either a time traveler himself, or he's getting information from a time traveler. But I still lean towards he's a time traveler himself. I mean, a, a, a tranny. If, if he's from the future, then it goes without saying that he's a tranny because. I think we're all moving towards that in the future. Future generation. Yeah. Just, yeah. It'll so, be so you're under the belief that if he's not a time-traveling tranny, he's in cahoots with the time-traveling trannies. Yeah, that, 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 that would be like my backup theory, but I still like, I, I subscribe to the theory that he's a time-traveler himself. Yeah, I mean. And I, don't, it, I don't think that both theories can be like, I don't think one theory has to be right and one theory has to be wrong. Let's do a little bit of both. I mean, he could be, he could have been made in a lab in the future and then sent back in time. Yeah, that's true. That is very possible. <laughs> I mean, he, he, he was sent to divide so that somebody, don't know who, but somebody could conquer. So I got this article pulled up. Let me uh, read some of it. Um there's a theorist, Harlan Dorison said that he was, he has conclusive evidence that Trump was created by enemy scientists as the ultimate weapon to bring the United States to its knees. Having come through binders of secret documents, I can say with 100% confidence that the person we have been calling Donald Trump was grown in a re, 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 a DNA lab? Dorison said, whatever the fuck that means. Um, it, it, it's the only uh, possible explanation, he said. While the uh, organism known as Trump appeared to be little more than a curiosity for the first seven decades of his existence, seemingly designed for our amusement, in recent days he has become fully weaponized. The, the conspiracy theorist asserted in the past two weeks he has urged americans to defy public health orders to insert ultraviolet light inside their bodies and to ingest bleach (laughs) he said (laughs) in a secret lab somewhere enemy scientists are popping champagne party All I'm going to say there is is some fucking asshole is going to ingest bleach. Then I'm not going to apologize for the statement I'm about to say. They deserve to fucking die. (laughs) I don't know how you feel about that, but... (laughs) I'm pretty sure there are people already doing way dumber shit than that. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. I'm sure some assholes got high off bleach. (laughs) So, I feel like... And, and, and I, see, I see where he's coming from there, but it maybe maybe Trump has a weapon and he didn't even know it. He's like one of those sleeper agents and he was just like activated. But 
No, I, I'm still, I, I prefer the time traveling theory. Yeah, yeah. Because, I mean, it only, it explains his orangeness the best, you know, because of, like, all the, um, you know, the warp speed or whatever the fuck to travel back in time. That's why he, he, he's got that orange tent. Yeah, that makes sense. I'm going to offer up a, a little addendum to our time traveling training Trump theory. Let's hear it. I think that Obama is from the same timeline as Trump in the future. And I think they traveled back together. You think so? I do. I think that, like, Obama was sent to come first, like, as far as, like, leadership, so that he could offer a completely opposite style of Trump so as to, to really, really split the country. So I, I feel like without, like, if you would have gone straight from the Bush presidency to the Trump presidency, it wouldn't have felt like that much of a shift, you know? Yeah. Neither one of them are, speak too well, you know, like, they're not great orators like Obama. Like, you get this, this guy like Obama who's just, like, a master of speeches and, and is really eloquent in the way he talks. And then you go to Trump, who <laughs> is just a fucking train wreck. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, the dude says shit, I wish... One of these days, uh, uh, just for our sake, I'm going to print out a list of the dumbest shit he's ever said. Uh, Dude. Uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> I think that would be a good uh, guy party episode, like fucking Trumpisms. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, maybe we could, like, do you do any voices any, uh, any well? Like, uh, do you do any imitation? Oh, my God. You know what? I'm going to search and I'm going to find somebody. I- I'll even. We'll dig burns out of the fucking trash heap to get him to do it because you know he was great with fucking uh impersonations god can you imagine like doing some trump quotes with, with like his macho man voice oh god <laughs> that would rule <laughs> that would be pretty fucking cool i'm gonna i'm gonna look it up right now when we're when we're talking but yeah so i mean it's, it's just like it, it's the polar opposite that you needed to split the country and so but I still, I still don't know. I don't have the foresight to see what split is for. I mean, they say you know, a divide and conquer. So who's going to conquer us? You know, the Chinese man. Because if you just created in the lab, the, that seems to be the opposite. Yeah, never. I mean, the, the obvious, uh, the, 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 the Chinese. Uh, I mean, there's there's plenty of conspiracy theorists that say that. The China, that the coronavirus is a biological weapon from China. Man, you know, I, I almost buy into that conspiracy a tad because those motherfuckers, yeah, granted they own us, but I, I just feel like they're also out to dethrone us for they're the top dogs. So, I don't know. And they're crooked as fuck. I'm not saying our government isn't, but, you know, I don't know. They, they just seem extra crooked. And especially with them, like putting their fucking foot on all their citizens' necks and not let them, like, really be educated to what's truly going on. They're, they don't have, like, podcasts like Guy Party that are giving people breaking news to where we're exposing time-traveling trannies and shit like that, you know? That's true. I mean, how, how would you know? Yeah, yeah, true. <laughs> Let's hear your Trump impersonation. You got one? I don't need Trump. I don't really do impersonations. I can't do voices. Yeah, I can't either. <laughs> yeah, I'll have to give Burns a, a call and see if he's uh, up for doing that. Yeah, you're right. Burns is the dude when it comes to... Yeah, he, he can nail a lot voices. of them, too. So, it's it's not like he can only do Macho Man. That dude can... Like, dude, he did Gilbert Godfrey and shit. This one's old, but... You just got to just say how fucking terrible he is. <laughs> At talking, CNN has an article, um, and I don't know. CNN people hate that because uh, it's it's liberal news, but still, they have just in 2019, 199 wildest lines of 200 of 2019. Like they came up with two fucking hundred of them. <laughs> 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 we should have them record one for every episode for the next 200 episodes of Guy Party. We'll start that with our intro. <laughs> All right, so so read a couple of them. Like, do they, do they have a ranked, or is it just kind of like random shit? 
Yeah, I mean, it, it feels kind of random. We definitely need to get them ranked. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to find a real dumb one. Let's see. Hey, come back to me, let's talk about something else, and then maybe we'll come back and I'll find some good stuff. Right on. While Chester's searching for some uh, awesome Trump quotes... You know, I'm, I'm a huge Star Wars fan. I don't know if I ever uh, said it on the pod or not, but yeah, I'm a total Star Wars fucking junkie. So I found this was kind of a cool fucking thing. You know, we're, we're down in the coronavirus lockdown, but apparently they're using, like, dudes dressed up as Darth Vader to enforce uh, Philippine villages to stay uh, socially distanced. So I thought that was pretty neat. Like, I guess they, they got these dudes marching around fucking uh, the Philippines telling fucking people to stay inside. I don't know if it's more for the kids or if the, the parents are so uneducated they really believe it's Darth Vader, but either way, I thought it was, was kind of cool. That does sound cool, using Vader as a way to enforce, were they forcing quarantine? You said yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. I, I hope like he has like one of those toy lightsabers, though, that like, actually, like it just looks a piece of like plastic that extends out. You know, people will be like, ah, that's not that's nothing to be afraid of. But then, like right, in the, like, right in the middle of the street, they get a dude pull his pants down and shove it up his ass. <laughs> yeah. Or a kid that's, like, frightened and goes back into quarantine, later finds Vader mounting his mom with his lightsaber. <laughs> <laughs> but, Mom, you're not social distancing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, like, a, a public is, is a good way to deter people from going outside. <laughs> Get a public ass rate is, is, is one way to, to make it work. I don't know how do you feel about that as a Star Wars fan. Do you wish you was fucking Luke enforcing that shit, or are you down with a Vader going around? Vader's more imposing, so I guess, yeah, roll with fucking Vader. But, uh, Guy Party, I'm more afraid of the women of Star Wars since there's been such an abundance of them lately, so. <laughs> I'm not saying that I am afraid of women i'm just afraid of women that have respect and become jedis i like you know broken women that are easy to have sex with yeah yeah sorry buddy i'm gonna have to go home and like watch some shows on netflix or something you know and like you know i don't know like No, well, I would just be wanting to have sex with her, you know, and uh, yeah, so uh, she really wouldn't keep me in. I'd be like, oh, another dude, just a weird dude in a mask. I mean, I've seen dudes uh, drive fucking tractors around naked with horse masks on, so Darth Vader's really not going to scare me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe you just have like dudes dressed in like a Jedi costume, but like the, the robe like cuts off right around the waist, so that like below uh, it's like his just dick is hanging out, <laughs> and it's painted like green or blue. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when it gets hard, it like you know, it's like. <laughs> <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> if you just saw a dude like that walking down the street, like, like on your street in Eastgate, Ohio, and just walking down the street, like, stay indoors, it's for your own safety. <laughs> I'd come out and bring him a beer and high five him. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, excuse me, sir, please social distance. Yeah. <laughs> like, God damn it. Like, your dick is out. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, fuck, that's a good way to keep people inside. I guess, or, you know, soccer moms and children to just have nude men running around. That's true. Yeah, just just naked dudes that would would, probably keep the kiddos inside. (laughs) Oh, God damn, enough of this fucking weird uh, pre-apocalyptic fucking shit. Uh, Did you find a Don? uh... No, I I, I, I went ahead and put... Let's put a pen in 
that and, and talk tackle that on a, a future pod. Okay. All right. So um, Chester conjured up a new segment. It's ba- you here. You you tell the booze heads what it's all about. Okay. Right on. Well, we're talking about movies. So I forget what I was watching the other day, but I was watching something with my girlfriend and just talking about the ending of the movie, and I was like, well, I feel like the ending should end there. I feel like it should end like this, and like the main character just starts getting a blowjob and then punches <laughs> this guy in the face. And, and, and it, 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 it gave me the idea that, like, I wish that, that's, that was a much better ending than the one I just saw. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should fucking uh, try to change more movies, like give them a Guy Hardy twist. Uh, like, so... This next segment is about creating Guy Party alternate endings to some of our favorite movies. <laughs> yes, and uh, Boo says if you if you like this segment, let us know and give us movies that you'd like to have the Guy Party ending uh, adapted for your favorite movies. So Chester, what movie are we starting off with? Well, you know what we're we're in the realm, and it's 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 your bag. So why don't we say? Oh my god, I can't think of it. <laughs> <laughs> Episode 6, Return of the Jedi. Return of the Jedi? Oh shit. I was going to say Return of the Jedi. That's what was getting me mixed up. Anyways, um, Return of the Jedi. Yeah, I don't want to say um, Rise of Skywalker or whatever, because I've only seen it once, and I, I don't even I don't remember the end that well. But Return of the Jedi I've seen a, a whole, whole bunch of times. So, like, yeah. when we take it from the ending, where where do we yeah. want to take it at? Do we take it to where they're at the Ewok hut or when they're in the Death Star? Like, within 20 minutes of the ending or just, like, the third act in general? <laughs> well, let's just come up with some different ideas. Let's, let's spitball. Okay. So, first of all, let's start with the very end and then work our way backwards and come up with some ideas that could really shape the story. Okay. <laughs> so i feel like first of all if we're given a guy party spin you've just spent the last six years of your life battling a galactic empire it's, it's like sure. the rebellion to free america everything was stacked against you but you found a way to win now are right. you gonna be partying with a bunch of bears or are you gonna be fucking double tang it double team and princess leia because I, so I, I, I hear what you're saying, and I think you're saying that Luke and Han go to town on Leia, even though Luke's her brother. That's right. Yeah, Luke, Luke is just so, like, everything's finally complete. He's did the ultimate task. He's brought his dad to the light side. He's just down. Let's fuck. Han Solo's still unsure if Leia likes him or not, so he's down for the uh, three-way Luke's like, I don't right. want to look her in the eyes. I take the back end. Han, you take the front. Which, I guess right. we could... S- so, here, here's what I'm saying. If, if that's the case, I like the scenario. <laughs> it's cool. And, obviously, Chewie's in the corner jerking off. But... <laughs> <laughs> but, let's just say that we, we, we take this ending and catapult it into the new trilogy... At some point, you find out that Kylo Ren is Luke's son, not Hans. Yes, and have I know you've seen Preacher. Uh, what is the fucking retarded Jesus' name? Dubadorp? <laughs> you know what I'm talking oh, about? No. I don't know. Oh, I'm shit, I'm sorry. Now. I didn't fucking... All right, so... You know, I, I, I saw, like, the first three seasons, and I don't know if I got into, like... Yeah, I don't think I got into like the uh, the four season. That might have been four season. But but I think he was in season three. I think his name was Dubador. Was he was like Jesus's fucking like mongoloid offspring. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I need to watch that show again. I really do. Okay. Maybe I don't. Shit. Maybe I only got the first two seasons. I don't know. But anyway. But yeah. <laughs> so yeah. I'm so curious. I'm curious what they're going to do. Yeah. So. so Colorism so, is part of inbreeding, like. <laughs> yeah <laughs> and, and all he does he doesn't really like do anything uh you know spectacular with his force abilities like you know help people out all he does is like fucking get boners or shit his diaper and fucking like unchanged <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 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 
So instantly Han Solo gets tired of this. He's tired of dealing with, you know, Leia's pussy dried up. And, you know, because his, his son's a fucking offspring of inbreeding. So, you know, he, he he hits the town. He's out. He's out. And it's just Leia stuck with her fucking inbred fucking Jedi. <laughs> and here, you take it from there. <laughs> <laughs> it was stopped by inbreeding. <laughs> I feel like we should take it and just like hand it off to one another. So now you roll with what happens next. <laughs> On that one, like, I was going to work backwards, so I was going to start off with the Ewok party and, and have, like, um, I mean, we think alike. I was going to have the film of, like, spend about 30 minutes on an Ewok orgy. An <laughs> Ewok orgy. All right. All right, yeah. yeah. Like, so, just, like, the bears going down on each other, like, 69 and home then, like, <laughs> like, like, C-3PO is, like, like just kind of looking on at approval, like... <laughs> <laughs> what what is uh lando doing during this time he's kind of like is he lost between the bears because his skin matches the fur of the bears <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, you get to you cut to see lando and like he's just like laying on this really soft looking like bed of fur and shit and like he's just got like five bears all over like he's just barely <laughs> Like, all you see is his mustache. Because <laughs> the Ewoks are just, like, kissing him and fucking blowing him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just all over him. <laughs> all right. So, we're, we're at the uh, post-Return of the Jedi orgy. So, so we're working our way back to the Battle of Endor and the Death Star. What what happens before that? All right. So, all right. We, we've got the, um, the scene with Luke and and Vader and the Emperor, right? Um, well, we, we have the scene where, um... Well, we've got the Death Star and Lando like, flying through with the Falcon and blowing that shit up, right? Yeah, we, we have that and where, uh, Luke, he got his dad back to the light side. So I don't know if we want to jump that and just go to where he fought the Emperor, You, if you want to touch on that or not. Hmm. So, I'm trying to remember what all happens... So, um, I, like this isn't, this isn't even the guy party in me. This is like the dark in me. I want the Death Star to fucking fire on Endor and just destroy it. But and, th- then we don't have the Ewok orgy. <laughs> right, I know. But and then we've also killed Alphon and Leia. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we can't have Dubador in fucking Episode Seven. <laughs> <laughs> But wouldn't it be great if, like, everything is, like, like you feel like it's moving in a certain direction, and then all of a sudden, fuck, there goes Endor, there goes Han, there goes Leia, like, oh, and Chewie, and Chewie, like, oh, my fucking God, did they just do that? Holy shit, mind blown. And then, like, Luke sees that shit, and he just loses his mind. And he fucking, he takes out Vader instantly. Like, he's just like, this is your fucking fault. And he just, he just knocks his head off. And now it's down to, like, Luke and the Emperor. Like, maybe, like, Lando shows up. Lando's like, he actually talks to Falcon. And now he's like, he's made his way up there. And Lando's, Lando comes out. And he's like, yes, we're motherfuckers. I'm the baddest Jedi in this galaxy. <laughs> you didn't even know. You, you didn't even know. Like, he's, he's a, he just bust out a black lightsaber. Oh, who knows that? Who knew that? <laughs> <laughs> he tosses Luke a Colt 45. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now Luke's drunk. <laughs> and they just go, they just fucking go to town on the Emperor. <laughs> and at the end of it, like, fucking one of them, he bags the Emperor. Credits. Credits. <laughs> I mean, is, is this the Emperor's carcass? No. no. So, so the Emperor's still alive when they teabag him. 
Yeah, it's just, it's, just, it's just like Lando like drops his most into the new first mouth, and it's like, da, 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 like <laughs> but 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 he's not shooting like lightning bolts into dudes ball sacks or anything. He's just like laying there and accepting tea bags. Yeah, he's just accepting because the emperor's down. He's down the clown. Because he's down that he's got both of those dudes in his pocket because. Jedi's not supposed to do that kind of shit, so these guys have got to have a little dark side on them. Hey. He sees Lando, and he's like, oh, you got the dark side on you, boy. <laughs> 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 and then Lando's like, you don't call me, boy. <laughs> honky. Honky. <laughs> <laughs> Teabag and <in> credits. <laughs> <laughs> That's a tough one, man. You, you can't even really set the sequel trilogy up for that. Because, <laughs> I mean... <laughs> so, like, let, let's rework at least the opening of Seven. So, all right, we got 30 years past. Lando teabag the Emperor. Luke and Lando are fucking smashing Colt 45s. They're old men at this point. Where is the galaxy? Is the Emperor still reigning? Is Lando, like... Oh, no. Like, the Emperor, he, he, is, he has had some psychological abuse now. <laughs> and, and, and so, he, he just doesn't have the confidence to lead anymore. He's become so, a beta. He's not. He's no longer an alpha. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Yeah, like, like Luke, Luke is the Emperor now. Like, it, it's Emperor Luke. And well, he just kind of has to palpitate to, like shoot lightning bolts in the air like he, he's just like eh, I don't want to see lightning and then the opposite comes he's like oh yes sir <laughs> but, but what's Lando doing is he like mopping the floors in the Death Star or <laughs> hell no hell no <laughs> <laughs> not Lando no way Lando's just out bagging bags you know that's what's up so he's just like, he teabags the Emperor, and like, this is behind the scenes after the credits, he's just like, yo, Luke, it was fun, I'm out, fucking, I'm chasing pussy. <laughs> he takes that Falcon, and he's like, thanks, Palpatine, he's like, now the Falcon's mine, free and clear. <laughs> so he's, because he knows Han's dead now, so, yeah, the fucking Falcon is his again. Yeah, you see, he's happy about that shit. So he goes out, and he just starts bagging, like, all kinds of different alien broads, like, he's finding all the He's like, I'm going on a mission to bang it. Like, I want to set the record. I want to set the record for the most... <laughs> most like, bastards. The most different number of, like, species as a, a one person is bang. The record is, is currently held by, like, some fucking, like, member of Yoda species because they live, like, 900 years, so they bang all kinds of shit. But I don't want to bang way more than that. Can you be stereotypical in the Star Wars galaxy? So, like... Lando's out banging all these different aliens and organisms, and he's got all these like children that don't have a father. And uh -huh. I mean, I don't want to point out anything, but it is Lando. I mean, uh -huh. is, is that is being a stereotype, or <laughs> can we get away with that? Oh, you mean like the absentee father thing? Yeah, but you know. <laughs> no, let's do that. Let's get away from the stereotype, and he bangs a, a bunch of different alien species, but he uses protection every time. All right, all right, all right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he wraps that shit up tight. So he has no, know, I mean, he has no unwanted children. Completely different planet. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> and ladies and oh, gentlemen, be, Return of the Jedi. Wouldn't that be kind of dope to set up like the next trilogy as like the children of Lando that like band together to become like like, almost like a new Jedi order. Because remember Jedi, like, Lando's a Jedi, he's like, he has a black lightsaber. <laughs> Episode 7, Welfare. <laughs> <laughs> Lando has spread his seed across the galaxy. <laughs> <laughs> and an attempt to fuck more women than have ever been fucked before, Lando has created an army of unwanted children. <laughs> <laughs> There's like 30 of them and they have to share one lightsaber. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Like, I feel like, I feel like that would even be, like, like not even joking, like, not even 
good, like totally separate from what we're talking about. Like, cause, uh, you, you find out that pop team, you know, is Ray's grandfather, spoiler alert, whatever. But, um, like, so this is fuck, you know, this is to get down. They, they like to bang. They don't have those restrictions that the Jedi have. So maybe uh, if they end up doing like a 10, 11, 12, uh, episodes, you know, mm-hmm. like maybe they make that whole series about Ray finding all of her like long lost cousins and shit. Like yeah, yeah. Palpatine was a busy motherfucker. <laughs> he was, he was, he was concubine and shit. He was he was a smooth talker. That's right. He didn't <laughs> need to be a smooth talker. He was a fucking emperor. You <laughs> 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 can be able to give me a girl, please. No, no. Why did I say please? I'm an emperor. Give me a girl. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. He yeah, had to fuck around. I kind of want to work your your angle of, of the story into my angle of the story. So why don't we say that on Endor, they they see an explosion that they think is the Death Star exploding, but it's really one of the Rebel ships exploding. So they celebrate prematurely and they start fucking each other. <laughs> and, then, and then Leia ends up leaving so she could go find Luke because she knows he's up there like celebrating and shit. So she's off the planet at this point. And then the Death Star blows up Endor, so there goes Han and Chewie and, and all that. And then, you know, everything with Lando and Luke and teabagging. So, <laughs> so, so then we, we still have the Emperor Luke, the children of Lando, and the, the retarded inbreeding son of Luke and Leia. No, no, wait. Diebledore? No, Luke, wasn't, Luke wasn't down there yet. I want all the pieces together. <laughs> all right, so so yeah, Luke is still up there, and and Leia meets him up there. But I still I still like the double team with him and Han. Oh, oh, you want the uh, Han and uh, Luke double team involved? Right, which comes after Luke already kills the Emperor. So, I mean, we we can have him blow up Endor with Han, but Leia's up there. She's driving her ship back to the Death Star to. Meet up with uh, Lando and Luke, and then they they have a gang bang after the tea bag or before the tea bag. So, do you kind of want to see Admiral Ackbar shark? Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's not a bad call. <laughs> <laughs> this whole fish dick, <laughs> fish dick. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I always think of all shit endings as things being on the DVD. Maybe we should we show both of them on the Revenge of the, or the Return of the Jedi uh, DVD. So we, we show the you know like the, like the normal victory that you see, but with just all like the sex, like the the Ewok orgy and the double team between Luke and Han on Leia with Chewie jerking off in the corner. <laughs> In fucking R two D two filming it, <laughs> and and then we also show the alternate ending where Luke and Lando that, that's the new tandem for setting up the uh, the next trilogy. Yes, and then what spurs of that? We we've got the inbred inbred child. We got Lando's kids. Yeah, I feel like that's the conflict. Maybe like maybe um, the 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 inbred child goes up against the children of Lando. Like the children of Lando are kind of like the dark uh, represent the dark side, <laughs> and the in, the inbred child represents uh, like the Jedi. Because it's and like even though it's, even though it is retarded and not very good at, at fighting or with the Force, there's so many of, of his kids, and and they don't have the right equipment they need to fight that he's able to take a lot of them out pretty easily. If he's using the Force, and he accidentally used the Force not knowing something, all right, so, like, all right, they're in a scenario, and Dumbledore, I'm just going to call him Dumbledore, he fucking, he accidentally uses the Force, and he doesn't know what he's doing, but makes something, like, comedic that fucks everything up, that ends up saving the day, but he ends up using it and not knowing what he does to do that. Does that make any sense? Yeah, can so like maybe he can like force spray or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> like suddenly, like like the children of Lando being all like the, the bad guys and shit. Like oh, do something, do something. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Maybe he just gets really like drunk and vomits on them forcefully or something. I don't know. I'm trying to think of the most outlandish guy party shit I can think of. 
he uses the force to turn their beverages into pure LSD. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's, so they drink a cup full of LSD, which, if you know, only a couple drops is good enough, and a whole cup, and they just go insane, and their heads explode. <laughs> Or he's playing like force filled uh, four square. You ever play four square where you hit the ball and he accidentally like yeah. he uses the force to hit the ball, but it goes through one of Lando's children and fucking <laughs> paralyzes him, which ends up he falls and his fork or his chicken wing falls out and hits one of the other children in the head, and it just has like a, a domino effect. <laughs> 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 the ball, like a ball hits him in the head as he's eating a chicken wing and he's just choking on it. Yeah. It's <laughs> 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 just a whole sequence of really bad, really bad fucking racial stereotypes. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> And then when he like chokes on the grape soda, the bottle falls out and then hits like a fucking corner, which shoots out and knocks a watermelon off the roof and it hits the other one. And then, <laughs> and then Dumbledore just stands up and he scrapes the gravel off his fucking, uh, you know, his elbows. And he's like, what happened? And all Lando's kids are dead. <laughs> Yeah, fucking Disney needs to hire us. Yeah, let's get that. Let's get some alternate like fucking Star Wars timelines. Yeah. Like, <laughs> let's put a script together and pitch it to Disney. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking dudes from the Moss Eisley Cantina. You can put it on Disney Plus. <laughs> you don't have to release it in theaters. So what we need to do? We need to take like a. Um, a guy party interpretation of like after hours at the Moss Eisley Cantina. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, fucking dudes like flipping Reese's in the drinks and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Banging all kinds of weird fucking aliens. Yeah. Droids <laughs> come in. We don't want your kind here. <laughs> fucking pull out a robot to try to like. All right, you good. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> well, yeah, that, that would absolutely be a thing. Like, the whole thing with, like, Jedi, like, I always thought it was kind of silly, that, that whole notion that they, like, they basically have to be, like, monks. Like, they have to be celibate, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, it's like, so what, I mean, do they jerk off at least? Like, what, what, what is the deal there? Like, I don't, you would of think, course you would want to turn to the dark side. You would figure, um... If you had all that force ability, you'd want to do some, like, selective breeding and just, like, let's build the ultimate badass Jedi. Like, let's take Yoda and fucking inseminate Mace Windu and fucking, you know, have brown Yoda. (laughs) (laughs) But, I mean, how bad of a motherfucker he would be. How fucking easy would it be to the dark side to tempt somebody from being a Jedi? Just be like, hey, hey look, we got pussy. Look at this pussy. You want to fuck it? Yeah, have, <laughs> have fun. Just like, I mean... Like, that's, all it, that's all it would be like. If I was a Jedi, I'd be like, I'm dedicated to the Jedi Order. And like, someone like Sith would be like, hey, pussy. <laughs> and I'd be like, that's a good point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no doubt. I mean, that's just, like, yeah, that's just, that's just silliness to me, like, and, and same thing with, I mean, now I'm gonna start be talking like a religious bigot, but, like, the whole idea that priests can't bang, and, like, monks and shit, like, nuns can't bang, like, I mean, obviously it doesn't work that well with priests, because when you tell them not to bang, they just fuck with boys. <laughs> yeah, really. I feel sorry for the 
people that have lived that life and have never fucked. Right? But hey, right? I mean, a Catholics like I mean, at least they're allowed to gamble and drink. But man, when I drink, I just want to fuck more. So you know. That's what I'm saying, man. Like, <laughs> and and I know women like fuck too. So I mean, fuck the nuns. So there's got to be two on that too. So yeah. But the weird thing is, like, you never hear about a nun like coming on to a dude. Is that because the dude wouldn't really report it? He was just trying to tell his friends. Probably, and it goes back to like. Man, those kids that are in high school banging their fucking hot ass teachers, you guys are right. fuck nuts because if one of my hot teachers ever wanted to fuck me, I sure as shit would have kept my mouth fucking shut. What 16-year-old kid doesn't want to beat up some fucking pussy that, you know, especially when the bitch knows what's going on? <laughs> right, but in the same regard, like, what, what hot teacher goes after, like, 16, 17-year-olds, like, I know. You know, every one of them's gonna fucking ejaculate within like fucking three pumps. And, and you know that that hot teacher could get any dude they wanted. That you know. I'm saying. I don't get that. Like, well, I mean, whatever. I mean. But they're mug shots, dude. Like I haven't. I yeah. There's been a couple ugly ones, but hell, even when I was 16, I dude like I would fuck like a crevice in a couch just to get off, like. You talking about some older lady let me stick my fucking dick in them to, you, I mean come on guys what are you, they're obviously not guy party listeners or never will be <laughs> see that's what, that's what I'm saying right? that's, it's like that's my beef with the Jedi like I don't think I could be a Jedi I wouldn't be a Jedi I, I know I wouldn't be I would be a Sith I mean I absolutely would be a Sith Hey, yeah, that I mean, that's why I'll never be a Christian. I'd rather party in hell with Slayer than fucking not fornicate and fucking get wasted. See, that's what I'm talking about. Like, <laughs> I don't know. It, it, that, that whole thing of the prequels, because, I mean, they didn't really talk about that in like, the original trilogy. That I feel like they really focused on that more in the prequels. And, and, like, that was the whole thing with, like, Anakin and Padme. Like, like the, their whole story was, like, a forbid, they made it a forbidden love. But it just made me feel like, ugh, the Jedi are fucking uptight and do. <laughs> yeah. Like, it's made me not like the Jedi very much. Like, like wake the fuck up. People like the bad. Yeah, yeah, for real. I mean, you can almost relate it to, like, legalizing drugs. It's like... Oh, hide it in the closet and end up like Anakin Skywalker or fucking let it out in the open and let it flourish. <laughs> That's an excellent example, and I think you should make posters. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you know? <laughs> Fuck it. Yeah, I mean, when you're forced to suppress, suppress those, those emotions and those desires, you turn to the dark side. You do, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so, I mean, that, maybe that's what they were going for. Maybe that's what they are going for in the original trilogy, that, like, you can't suppress your, your desires and your emotions, or else you'll become a horrible, violent, dark person. Yeah. I don't know, but I don't care about the original trilogy. I just care about the end of Return of the Jedi, where... Uh, Lando is a, <laughs> a Jedi with a black lightsaber, <laughs> and... <laughs> Return a guy party. <laughs> Return a guy party. So, so that's, that's the idea. So, we, we spat off some really re ridiculous ideas for how to end a classic movie. And that's what we, I, I think we have, a, there's a lot more for us to do. I think there's, uh, I think there's a lot more movies that we can tackle and, and, and give us, give us a guy party twist on. Oh, absolutely let us know too because hell i feel like we could turn this into a whole episode in its own you know like alternate endings mm -hmm. with guy party you know just like take the whole fucking movie and rewrite it to guy party uh standards <laughs> that's true we could just do a whole movie top to bottom yeah i, I mean Booze has let us know if you feel like that's something you want to listen to let us know and uh if not we'll just keep doing little segments here but yeah i would love to just rip a whole movie apart and redo it guy party style all three acts <laughs> right yeah so um just to throw out a few that uh, at least i had it tossed out there like i had ideas bouncing around just to give you an idea like um Terminator 2, one of my favorite 
favorite fucking movies. I, I, w- I would love to give that one a go. Party first. Yes. Um, Die, Die Hard with a Vengeance. Yeah. Jurassic Park. Yes. Uh, well, you also you mentioned the Matrix. Um, the Matrix, yeah. Yeah, we. I mean, there's so many movies. Yeah, let us let us know what you think, and we could totally build out like a whole alternate ending guy party series if you guys are into it. So, um, yeah, most of you guys have my number. Sh- uh, shoot us an email, guypartypod at gmail dot com. Uh, let us know, man, for sure. And send us movie they will probably ideas. Probably end up looking remarkably like the porn parodies of these popular movies. Yeah, yeah. So, um, <laughs> I mean, if you guys have seen Zach and Mary make a porno, I mean, obviously uh, Kevin Smith has played a big influence in our lives. Mm-hmm. It's kind of, kind of gonna be like that. There's gonna be a lot of sex, a lot of drugs, and a lot of guy party. <laughs> So. Kind of our yeah, I mean it is, and I'm not ashamed of it. I love it. I mean, Kevin Smith made a living yeah. off of it, and Guy Party that that's our go-to. I, I'm good with it. Yeah, and you know, I feel like something that should have had a callback in the, the the new trilogy that was in the prequels. Do you remember? I think I feel like we talked about this, but in uh, episode two, when they, when they go to that bar and the dude's trying to sell Obi Wan some death sticks. Yeah, yep. <laughs> I feel like maybe we ever did like a new hope. Like redid that one and like have like Obi Wan like totally fix in the dash things. Like he actually like he did end up buying someone from that dude later on, you just didn't see it. <laughs> he got hooked on dash fix. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like um back in the height of the drunken army when there was like a lot of characters that would show up to our parties. I almost felt like some of the, the get-togethers I was walking into, like the Cantina Bar or like Planet of the oh, Apes. Yeah. <laughs> was, the, like, was the music like playing your head if you were walking to like a crowded party? Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you got like the little trolls over in the corner doing like fucking helicopter in their dicks and fucking weird goons doing whatever. Yeah, it, it was it was disturbing for sure. Yeah. Nothing I would ever take back, though, but, yeah. Yeah, no, absolutely. <laughs> so, is there anything else you want to hit on before we wrap it up? I don't know. The same shit we've been saying every week with this quarantine and corona. Stay safe. Don't be stupid. Beware of dudes in Star Wars costumes <laughs> roaming around your streets with their dicks out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a real lightsaber. <laughs> That's a boner. <laughs> unless, unless you're into it, and then in which case, we're going to break the quarantine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Single ladies, go suck that boner, because, I mean, that's pretty awesome. That dude's walking around with a boner hanging out as a lightsaber. <laughs> break the quarantine for love. Yeah, but, um... Yeah, booze heads, you know where to check us out because you're listening to us, but be sure to tell your friends, like, and subscribe. Go to our YouTube page because hopefully we'll make some little adaptions of our alternate endings. And please let us know if you want us to continue doing these alternate endings because you know you know Chester's going to cook up some good shit. So I have a feeling we're going to do it whether you guys like it or not, but we would like your blessing. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I, I, I... I thought it was a huge. Yeah. It was fun even talking about it. <laughs> yeah, so just shoot us uh, movies you guys would like us to uh, give a guy party twist to. And uh, check out our social media Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Uh, I haven't figured out TikTok. Probably won't ever figure it out. But uh, yeah, <laughs> check us out. Yeah, I feel like if we're having fun and what we're talking about, then it's that big. Our booze heads are listening to get that, and it's fun for them too. But I could be wrong. Our crazy ramblings could just be that to them. We could just be blah, 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 blah. And <laughs> that's, that's hilarious to us, but it makes no sense to them. And it's probably what it is. It's probably just gibberish. Hey, but it probably is. But, um, eh, you know. Well, we uh, have a good time doing it. Yeah. And, oh, Boo says, by the way. We've made it past 10,000 downloads and not without your help. And we appreciate every one of you guys that have been downloading our shit. And uh, there's no way to truly 
give the thanks that needs to be given thanks to you guys but thank you and uh hopefully we keep this ship rolling for another three years and uh we'll have some shirts come in and uh just hit me up it's on the house or if you guys want to donate some towards the fucking you know the feed and shit that would be greatly appreciated but yeah fucking guy party yeah i say we keep this thing going until uh, at the very least until the bang open the super bowl yeah <laughs> in which case we will obviously be arrested or murdered in in the riots we will become the same Cincinnati riots of that evening Let's put a pact on it right now, Chester. Episode 51. If the Bengals win a Super Bowl, <laughs> it will be the fucking day Guy Party dies. Because <laughs> our lives will be complete. <laughs> but let's all be real. We know it's not going to happen. So you guys are stuck with us. Like, like on our tombstones. Yeah. <laughs> 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 they find our bodies and we're just like fucking hugging each other and we got like a big fucking horn that says who day one of us has fucking got our pants Absolutely. And yeah, if this quarantine ever lifts, um, I'll talk to Chester about it, but uh, definitely going to do like a fucking guy party banger. So we'll, we'll let you guys know about that as well. Just to uh, hang out and pass out some shirts and stickers and shit. Got anything else? No, nah, no, nah, I think we're really covered it all, man. So. All right. Well, uh, until the next. Ready to wrap this up. Yeah, until the next episode, booze heads. Keep drinking, keep partying, and keep fucking. Women are stupid and I don't respect them. That's right, I just have sex with them. Show me your genitals. Your genitals. What? Show me your genitals. Genitalia. Show me your genitals. Your genitals. What? Show me your genitals. Genitalia. You're talking to me about stuff. Why? I'd rather see your titties. Now you're talking about other stuff. Why? I'd much rather see your titties. I can't have sex with your personality, and I can't put my penis in your college degree, and I can't shove my fist in your childhood dreams, so why are you sharing all this information with me? It's not sexist because I'm saying it in a song. That's right, bitch. Now take off your thong and show me your genitals. Your genitals. What? Show me your genitals. Your genitalia. Show me your genitals. Your genitals. What? Show me your genitals. Your genitalia. Knock, knock, who's there? It's me, wondering why you're not naked. Knock, knock, who's there? Me again, still wondering why you're not naked. I want to see your bum, I don't care what you say No, I don't have feelings, cause feelings are gay Something, something in the month of May Bitches love my penis, cause it's really big Girls' brains are much stupider than men's are So they should always listen to us, cause we're smart Women are only good for three things Cooking, cleaning, and vagina Show me your genitals, your genitals what? Show me your genitals your genitalia Show me your genitals, your genitals, what? show me your genitals, your genitalia, I can give good sex to you, cause I'm really good at sex, I can give good sex to you, cause I'm really good at sex, ah uh, yeah, that's right, shake your bums. I'm out of here. I gotta go have sex with a lot of girls. <laughs>